This is me, a Wizards fan. First official reaction to the Chris Paul for Bradley Beal and Shamit trade. And it's not good. I had two other videos planned. I had another video planned for today. A video planned for Thursday. I mean, today's Sunday. I had a video planned for today. A video planned for Monday. A video planned for Tuesday. I was getting ready to record the video I have planned for today. But they got to drop this news on us. And I'm posting this today. Um... Chris Paul is coming to D.C. Um, Bradley Beal is going to Phoenix. The package, official package, Chris Paul for Bradley Beal. I mean, Bradley Beal for Chris Paul. Landry Shamit, second round picks. I don't know how much. And pick swaps. That's what you get for our all-star? For our all-time player? I don't think the Wizards are serious. And if the Wizards were serious, then this package would have never happened in the first place. And I know what you're going to say. Oh, but the, they have a freaking no trade clause. Beal had a no trade clause. Whose fault is that, huh? Whose fault is that? It's not his fault. I don't blame Beal for any of this. I blame the team. I blame the team. I blame... I don't even care about his name. I'm never going to call him by his name. I don't care. The old owner... Freaking came out and gave him a f new contract. Freaking five years. At the time, I was mad. And I was confused about the no trade clause. I was really confused about the no trade clause at the time. And now it makes me mad that we had a no trade clause. Because look. Look at what the result of it. He got to waive his no trade clause. Which we could have got a better, better package from. And now, guess what? He's going to play. With Kevin Durant, we already knew he wasn't getting traded for KD. Devin Booker, we knew he wasn't getting traded for Devin. Aiton, he could have got traded for Aiton. He gets to play with all those guys. And guess who the Wizards got in return? Chris Paul. Hold on, I don't think you heard that. Chris Paul. Christopher Emmanuel Paul. C P three C P How old is it? Isn't he like thirty eight? We traded our star for a guy who's pushing forty and Landry Shamit. We traded hear that again. We traded our star for someone pushing forty and and Shamit and freaking twelve, thirteen year olds. They could have traded for me. They could have traded for me. I could be on the Wizards team. They could have traded Bradley Beal for me. They could have traded Bradley Beal for someone. Someone watching this video could have just got traded for CP3. Someone between the ages of 17 to, let's say, let's say they traded for, like, very down the line, 12. Someone 18 to 12 watching this video could have been traded for Bradley Beal. And if you did get traded for Bradley Beal, please don't sell. Please don't. But still, this is a bad trade. We deserve anything that happens to us. One thing that I'm saying, though, is at least it, like, kickstarts our rebuild. You know what I'm saying? Like, now we're not mediocre. That This trade shows me that we're going to a rebuild phase. And it's okay. I wanted to know. I knew we were going to a rebuild phase. But the thing is, when there's other better options on the deal, we could have got 18th pick from Miami. Maybe Tyler Hero from Miami. Maybe all these guys. Shoot, Portland might have offered us, but apparently Portland want to trade number three for um, Chris Stops. I'll take that. I'll take that. But, um, yeah. We still got Kyle Bum Kuzma on our team. Kyle Kuzma's not a bum. It's like, what are we going to do on him? I mean, he's technically not on our team. His contract's expiring. It's one of the worst trades in NBA history. And we're going to regret it. We're going to regret it. Just wait. Or, Chris Paul's probably getting bought out. Chris Paul's 38. He wants to win a championship. He's not doing good in Washington. But I want to see Chris Paul at least play one game in Washington because 
He's like one of my favorite point guards. But when you're pushing 38, I don't think it's a good thing to be playing for a Washington Wizards. I don't think it's a good thing to be being traded for a star. All right, you know what? I'm mad. The fact that I was even able to make this video, it's a blessing. Because I actually have bad thoughts in my mind right now. I'm out. If you're a Suns fan, congratulations. You've, you've messed up my franchise. I hate all of you now. And, hey, it's not... Actually, I don't blame any of you. Congratulations, you finessed us. Bradley Beal, congratulations. You finessed us. You you are a thief. You thiefed us for money. Put on a no-trade clause. Actually, I don't even... I'm not mad at Beal. That freaking bum decided to give him the biggest contract in NBA history. I think it is the biggest contract in NBA history. It's close, though. Um, Freaking a no-trade clause. Whose decision was it to give him a no trade clause? That's actually one of the dumbest decisions of my life, of of the Wizards franchise life. A no trade clause to a guy who could easily say, I want out, and, you know, pick his trade, which he did right now. He said, I want out, and he picked his trade, and he got his trade, and he's going to play with the players he wanted to play with, and the players that he didn't want to play with are gone. But, yeah. This is not only one's fault. This Wizards front office. And I don't even blame our new GM. He did the best of what he could. But, hey, I think he could have been at least a little more aggressive with his um demands. He could have been like, all right, it's either you give, it's either you accept the Nate and trade or you don't get traded at all. You know, or something like that. Or I trade you to another team. And, like, you know, he pretty much forces him to to accept the offer. But, no, he didn't be aggressive. I would have been more aggressive. But, hey, I'm not a front offense manager. I don't know how hard their job is. I just know this is a bad trade. I'm out. Peace. All right. Uh, editing note, you know the trade is bad when I didn't say it's been your boy, Lupita the Beast, and I'm out. Peace. And when I didn't even say, yo, what's up, guys? Lil P the Beast here back with another video. That's how bad the trade was. I wasn't even in that mindset. I hate... All right, bro. Um, It's been your boy, Lil P the Beast. I'm out. Peace.